Hello everybody. I have made many videos in the past showing you how to calibrate the touch screen on a Garmin Novi GPS. Uh, now what I have never uh, made a video about before is how to diagnose whether a touch screen is defective and needs to be replaced or it is just out of calibration that you can calibrate and use it. Now we are going to find out how to diagnose, how to tell that it's time to replace the touch screen because calibration will not fix your problem. Let's get started. So here we have two units, identical units. I, I, I mean, you know, relatively identical, just a little difference in the model numbers, but they're both Garmin Nuvis. Uh, notice if I press the speaker here, nothing happens. Where to goes to the map. And then these don't work, whereas as this, the speaker works, where to goes to where to, and everything works. And once I'm on this screen, I can never return because nothing works here, except for the zoom. The zoom works, but nothing else. Now I'm going to teach you how to tell if this is calibratable or is completely defective beyond repair. So what? In order to do that, we have to go to the calibration screen and we have to completely power it off. You cannot power it off with a power plug. So you have to completely turn it off, unplug it, and completely turn it off like that, completely off. Now you have to press this on the side, hold it, and hold your fingers in the upper right corner, one of your finger in the upper right corner, to initiate the uh, calibration screen so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna hold my finger here don't let go just keep it keep it there oh yeah sorry I had to hold this too one second let me redo that there so my finger is here and also the slider is to the left okay so let's see we are waiting for the calibration screen. The calibration screen will appear in about 30 seconds and I will do the same with the other one but you have to see and learn uh, how to tell if the calibration, if the screen is completely defective or if it is calibratable or fixable. So there is your calibration screen. And I will do the same on this one. Bring up the calibration screen. Now, I'm going to get something pointy that's not too sharp to scratch the screen. Like with a, with a round tip. I'll use this because it has a round tip. This guy. The tip, I have filed the tip to be round. So this is not a normal screwdriver. I made it round so it doesn't damage the, sc uh, the screen surface. Okay, so now we have calibration screen on both. This is a good screen that can be calibrated. This is a defective screen that cannot be calibrated. And this is how you can tell. You press the dot and you go to the next section. And there is no end to it. It's going to do that forever. This will be going in circles forever. Now watch on this one, on a good screen. One, two, three, four, five, six, and voila. This is ready. This will do like 30, 40 times before it gives you the okay. And even that, uh, sometimes it doesn't give you the okay because the screen is defective. So you'll be going in circles forever there. The OK is never going to come or it will come after like maybe 50 but 50 trials like this. Finally the OK will come. But most likely it won't come. And this one is a good one. So if this happens, you have to take it apart and change the screen. Now how do you change the touch screen? I have a separate video on that which you can watch. But at least this is how you can tell if you need a new screen or it is simply uh, a calibration issue. 
uh, when you're pr pressing one thing and something else pops up. Alright, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe.